They had people lined up. It wasn't like it was a mystery, like, oh, gee, I wonder where should we place the baby. Reeling in grief, fighting for answers, the youngest member of their family found dead. And tonight, relatives left wondering why he was put in a foster home when they wanted to care for him. That's right, 10 News reporter Emily Thode is in Scripps Ranch tonight with a 10 News exclusive on why I say the system is screwed up. His family tells me that there was a bunch of qualified family members ready to take him in, and the baby had no business being in foster care. This is his bassinet. The Thomas home in Carlsbad is filled with baby items, seemingly frozen in time. They all belong to three-month-old Zane Thomas. His nickname was Wolfgang Thomas. Child Protective Services took Zane away from his mother, Kimberly, shortly after he was born. Had to find out that he was moved to a foster parent's home. Mom was struggling with a drug addiction. Ulysses Thomas is Zane's uncle. And foster parents should work if, if the, the young lady doesn't have family in the state, doesn't have anyone to go to. That's a foster parent. But we had grandma, we had family friends. They say baby Zane was already in grandma's care up to five days a week. I was so happy when he was with me, he was so happy. They say CPS finally granted grandma full custody starting in October. September 8th, one of the few days of the week CPS had baby Zane in foster care, he died. I cried the night. Police believe it was a medical condition, but the autopsy is not complete. They just dropped the ball. I, I feel helpless. No answers. I feel ignored. 10 News reached out to CPS. A spokesperson would not talk about this specific case, but said procedure is always to keep the child with the biological family first. The family is calling for an outside audit of Zane Thomas's case. We'll keep you posted. In Carlsbad, Emily Thode. 10 News.